Hey everybody, it's Ozone and... Eagle Eye Pie. We're back with uh, trying to build the body for the spirit of Manira. And uh, in the last episode, we got the both arms, the right arm and the left arm. Uh, in the episode before that, we only got the left leg. And so now we need to get the last remaining leg. And there are these little glowy areas. And our last one is up and over there. We never did actually fight all the all the mobs back here. And quite frankly, I don't really care that we need to. I don't really feel like we need to. So, uh, since we have this car that we made after the last one, I figure we might as well go over here and see how far we can get. It looks... I think I want to throw some, some light down. Make sure that we're not going to drive off the cliff. Yeah, good idea. But this thing moves pretty fast. Yeah, it does. Keep throwing some light down. Come on. <laughs> there we go. All right. This one's pretty far away. Yeah, it is. And it looks like we got a big old... Oh. Oh. Where did that go? Off of a cliff, it Off looks of like. a cliff. Yeah. A little closer? Yeah. Well, I guess that's the end of the road here. Well, do you want to just run down and look? That's pretty far down there. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it did ah. light up something. Do you want to take an arrow and shoot it across? That's what I would think to do. Okay, I can. Um, I can definitely see some rocks and stuff over there. Mm -hmm. or at least I believe that I can. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, that's that's going. That's a going, all right. Okay. So this is not a thing that we can easily, easily ford. No, I mean, that's the entrance down there. We've got to go down there. Seems like it. And it doesn't seem like there's any point in trying to take the car. No. I was just no. trying to look around and see if there's something more. You want to throw one this way then? Yeah, let's throw one this way. Yeah. All right, so what do we got up here? Yeah. This might be something interesting. A hover box. Whoa. And a lot of pose and a lot of baddies. Yeah. Const oh, they're moblins, okay. Oh, do we want to go get the pose? I guess, I think we come back for it. Yeah, and this we don't need the pose right now. seems to be a puzzle. So I think we like set this here and then, oh, I didn't get it underneath the thing well enough. Can I? Oh, no, I went the wrong way. All right, fine. <laughs> Now, let's move it over a little bit. Controls. Controls, controls, controls. Last time I worked with these things, we had very little battery, and I found it very frustrating mm -hmm. to try to work with them. But right. now that we got a lot more battery, I mean, surely there's got to be something up here, some kind of secret? No? Aw. I thought for sure there was a secret up here. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. I guess I'll get far enough you away and it'll it turn down. off. It'll fall. <laughs> At some point, it'll turn off. There it goes. Now, since we do have the car, maybe we look this way. Because as soon as we go down in that hole, the car is going to despawn. So, 
Though I don't honestly see much that is worth exploring. Or worth adventuring to go get. Yeah. What is that big thing? Uh, that... The big shadow thing. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Part of a dinosaur bone. Interesting. Yeah. This is... There's, there's a person that wants, like, pictures of dinosaur bones or something. Oh, I wonder if this is how we get up to the light route. Oh, maybe. I mean... It does seem to be going pretty much right there. does seem to be going pretty much right there. Although, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We can go farther, at least. We're getting sidetracked. <laughs> we are. Ooh. I hear some keys. Somewhere. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean... I guess we're I'm going to get the light route, I guess. I guess. It'll help to have it lit up. There we go. Controls again. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, it'll help to have it lit up. Oh, that looked like there we go. Okay, that looked like some place we can ascend. Yeah, this is nice. Sidetracked. <laughs> but oh, yeah. yeah, that's nice. Big area. Yeah. Get my gloom hearts back. Yes. All right. Well, let's see. Now we don't have to throw down quite so many. Wow, there's a Poe on that frond. Yeah. Which is kind of strange. Okay. Well. Oh. Yeah. I bet we got to come back this way. Honestly. Very, very possibly. The car is probably gone. But, yeah, I mean, this is clearly where we're supposed to go. Oh, I don't have a Korok. A Korok frond that I could blow away these things. Or, a, well, you have a fan I mean, in your I, inventory. I do. I do. In my bubbles. How many do I have? Enough. Only 36. Yeah. No! Ah. Not ready for that yet. Yeah. <laughs> Now, watch, this is going to be something completely useless. You got to go in the wrong direction. I knew that. It doesn't work. Hmm. Huh. Doesn't that look like something that we can... Um, Blow away? Yeah. Blow away? Yeah. It does. Let me get uh, this and we'll fuse <laughs> the fan to that. Huh. Uh, that doesn't do anything at all. Okay. Okay. 
guess it's just a sin. Yeah. This is a long ascension, I think. Yeah, it is. How much you want to bet we're going to go right back up where we were? Right in the middle of that little camp that we were looking at. Maybe. I'm not going to bet against you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa. Okay. I did not that expect that. That was unexpected. Did not expect that. You want to look around and see where we are? Oh. We're on the tops of the dueling peaks, I think. I mean, sure, let's hop out. Uh, no. Yeah, we're on the tops of the dueling peaks. Okay. No, oh. We haven't been to this one, though. Haven't we? No. Because there's a Korok there that we did. I don't think we came to the tippy top. Yeah, because I don't remember seeing it. these statues. But I don't know that there's really anything we can do with them. There has to be something we can do with them. We just don't know what to do with them. Yeah. I mean, that didn't do anything. Can't Maybe interrupt. display the powers of the different deities. You mean the sages? Sages, yeah. Well, they don't look like the owl. No, um, but that's about the only thing I can think of is show the different powers and see if any of them do anything. I think you're reaching. I am. Quite a bit. I definitely am. And a whole lot of nothing, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well. They do seem to be special. We'll have to remember that for next yeah. time, I suppose. Um, we got some some bits and bobs, and that one is on the other side. We did, we did take that, and that's how we got over to one of the other places. So we that, just didn't go the over to the tippy tippy no. top. There's the canyon of the dueling peaks. Okay, so there's the other dueling peak. Oh, boy, talk about getting sidetracked. Yeah, seriously. We are seriously getting sidetracked. All right. Well, sure. Ah. No, nope, not that either. Yep. <laughs> oh. oh we've got that yeah, yeah. it's kind of weird lately all right well let us uh get back into the depths. redescend yeah uh we were at this light yeah. route. that's the one at the top of the dragon or the bones whatever those are and yeah i I totally expected that that's where we needed to go, and yeah, it was not. Apparently not. But clearly, also the the car is gone. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you forget where you parked the car? <laughs> There's an app for that. Okay, so where? I say, do you, well. Do you want? You want to check out that thing? See what that is? I think it's. It separate. might be a battle arena. But. Well, that is where we need to go over there, though. Okay. So, I mean, this is in the direction of it. Yeah, it's just a, a weird little floaty platform, I guess. Well, where do we have to go to get out of here? I see an elevator with some fans. We'll have to use 
We're probably going to have to build a flying machine. Mm -hmm. And fly back. Because this is way up in the air. Ka-chunk. Mm -hmm. Ka-chunk. All right. So far, it doesn't seem to be that bad. Just got to... Ride the elevator up. Okay. Oh, we got a a little car thingy. Go get your fans. Whoa! I would suggest turning them off. Yeah, we lost one. Two. Uh huh. But it's all right. That should be good enough. But we also have to be able to scoot and actually, like, get there, you know? It looks like a hanging padlock right now. Tell me that didn't look like a padlock. Sure, that looks like a padlock. I'll grant you that. that it's a little off. like a weird one. Yeah. Of course it does. We'll just bring them all. Why not? Is it overkill? Probably. Now we're at least balanced. And it's... Is it sliding? Not yet. Yeah. Gotta wait for my battery to reload. I don't know if I'll be able to stand up here. It's got a bit of a loop-de-loop, -loop, doesn't it? Yeah. Ah, apparently I can't stand there even when it's still. That's a skill issue. Uh. But. Do you see a problem? No. This thing is gonna run over here and hit that. Oh. Yep. You need to turn that thing around and make it into a weird backwards C. Yep, you are correct. We'll just put everything. Let's see. Put some weight on this side. And that should flip it around. <laughs> now the question still remains, can I stand up there while it's moving? And even if I can't, I could probably still get to where we need there to go. go. Yeah. Wow. No step for a stepper. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Got a little out of balance. There he goes. Except, I guess I can just ascend. Hey, what do you bet there's probably a, a hidden chest down in here somewhere? Probably. There's definitely something sparkly. A uh, bomb flower? Down behind the... Down behind the what? Okay. Yeah, I you can't really get there. There was a pine there. Nope. 
there. That's about the best I can think of is over here or over yeah, it's in not any dark of the enough. other dark black nooks and crannies. No, nope, doesn't seem to be. Okay. Oh well. So yeah, clearly it was meant to be a challenge to get the thing up here, not for us to get up here. Yes. But we've got another elevator. And I'm just going to take the whole contraption. Hopefully that's enough. No, I want to go around. Hopefully we got enough fans to lift this much. Oh, it is going slow. It is crawling. But it's doing it. Now the question is, do I have enough battery? <laughs> yes, you have plenty of battery. But yeah. It's going to take a little bit. It is crawling indeed. Oh, this thing is see-through. I bet. I wonder if there's something behind there that we need to be noticing. <laughs> Oops. There we go. And what do we got? We got some more fans. Looks like there's maybe a bird. Takeoff track. Ah. I'm looking through here, trying to see what we see. Eh, it doesn't I seem think to it's be. Just the outside. Yeah, it's just the outside. Wow, it's amazing how fast it goes when there's just me, huh? Yeah, seriously. Okay, well, let's look around here. What do we have? Blowy water going the wrong direction. There's our bird wings. Lots of bird wings. A nice oh. death. Nice. Okay, so we got a steering stick. One of these days, I'll get the steering stick turned in the right direction. I don't really see that there's anything else here that we need. I think you needed it up there so that you can get going, so that you can... Oh, well, maybe not. It looks like you've got another one over here. Yeah, no, there's another one. We just got to be able to get the, the arm cage on it, and that's going to be a lot of weight. Uh, I think I want to put that center... Put the steering stick on it and then it on the bird right smack in the middle and then how much propulsion do we need at least two at least <laughs> Is this another one of those elevator thingies? It looks like it's supposed to be. But I don't really see what it might be for. Well, take it and see where it takes you. It doesn't take it doesn't go very far. Huh. <laughs> just a few inches. Maybe just another couple of fans. Yeah, propulsion. yeah, I think it's supposed to just be more fans. <laughs> Let me get um, one more. 
I don't, this thing is probably going to be pretty back heavy. I think I like the idea of having this one in front. Try to balance it out a little bit more. There you go. And here's our takeoff track. There we go. Do you know where you're going? Uh, the lights over there to ahead and to the right. Well, there's a grand, couple grand pose at the very top of the thing. We went up some of the levels, but we didn't go up all of the levels. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to do that. Kaboom. Kaboom. All right. Ready to do some reading? Yep. Or we're going to have a big cutscene one or the other. I would think cutscene. This is where we get to meet the fifth sage. Let's see. Is that how it goes? I think that is how it goes. Combat, let's go! <laughs> Thank you, Link. Now only one task remains. We must recover my secret stone. Where did you lose it? <laughs> it should be located here. Please, Link, let us go there together. The path will be very dangerous. Fortunately, this construct body you have built for me is hardly helpless. There is a platform nearby where we can explore its potential. Okay. Where we can now explore hurry, its potential. We must recover my secret stone. That does mean combat. <laughs> uh, okay. Link can ride ah. on Minoru. Very interesting. Ooh. We've got a mech. Nice. <laughs> so it looks like we can put some of these things onto the arms and legs and stuff. Okay, they're going to tell us about it. Um, Link, the weapons here can draw forth the true power of this construct. Attach one to a hand, and your power in combat will be magnified several fold. Uh -huh. The road to the secret stone is long and arduous. I recommend that you make stops at each armory along the way. Get accustomed to operating this construct so that you are prepared for whatever you may face. You can attach things to the hands or back of Minoru's construct. The attached objects can augment the construct's movement or combat abilities. Huh. Wow. I like combat. I like the combat abilities anyway. Oh, so there's different buttons. So the left button is going to be the left hand. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm activating the left hand. Okay. And I can do a guard, put up a shield, uh, attach the spiked iron ball, and I can, oh, I want to put that on the right hand. That looks amazing. So let's attach the metal plate to the left hand as a shield. 
Okay, well, maybe not as a shield. And then we've got, what do we've got? A shock emitter, sure. Let's put that on the back part. Oh, that's going backwards. Yeah, it's a back. Well, okay. And can I, can I attach? I would put the flame emitter on your left hand and maybe the plate on your back or something. I well, the plate is gone. Oh, okay. Okay. And then the back part. That's not going to do anything. <laughs> hey, if they're coming up behind you, do that. Get them off your back. Yeah. If it works. Um, it, it looked like she was pointing us to go this way, so... Oh, we've got constructs. <laughs> Somebody got me. Back part. Where they are. Tough guys, aren't they? And we're going right for the moblins, so I don't want to get them involved yet. So. Oh, I got one. All right, let me get let me eat something. That that guy hurt. All right. I don't know why this guy was so much more difficult. Although I will say that I've been uh they're kind of your bad other baddies. Yeah, they're they're involved now. I've been hitting the A button to attack, which is not what I need to be doing. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Ouch, you hurt. I want to get you on fire so we can do that because getting him on fire does a lot of damage. There we go. Why? 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 <laughs> it took me a while to find the Why? Uh, there he goes. He's dead now. What is, what is hitting me? Oh, it's the construct still. Goodness. I was so worried about the moblins and stuff. Yeah, and the construct kind of blends in with your um, assistance. That's very true. I am very, very gloomy. Yes, you are. Um, Do you want to go back to one of the bright blooms and heal up? I would think that would be a good thing to do. It's going to take time, but yes, I think it would be good. Um, also, let's you, see. You're down a lot of hearts. I think it's. We can leave it here it. and go faster. Yeah. And maybe it'll follow. I think it'll follow. But yeah. Well, how do I make it? <laughs> it's certainly fast when I'm not writing it. Yeah. But it's certainly slow as all get out when I am. But yeah, we definitely need um, to get these hearts back. Yeah. Yeah, I think it would have been silly to keep going without healing up. Yeah. 
Need to eat something. Got a lot of these guys, so. Sure. All right. And where are we supposed to go again? Am I going the right direction? No, I'm not. Going the wrong way. I think I am going the right direction. Yeah, that's where we need to go. Yeah, down and around this <laughs> building. I wonder. Okay. So let me try to hop in. No. No. I was trying to make it go fast by using the sprint key like uh -huh. the other things, but... Here's another depot on your left that they said you to stop off at all the depots and... Yep. Oh, we could put... Can we put some wheels on somehow? How are we going to put wheels on? Yes. Yes. Wait, a Zonai device, when attached to the construct's back, can greatly enhance its mobility. We have far to go before we reach the temple with the secret stone. Speed will be our ally here. Okay. So let's attach a fan to the back. There's a rocket. Well, if rockets go away. The fans will be there even when my battery runs out. Okay. And I can activate them at different times. So let's put that on the back part. And if we activate the back part, it's kind of... We go a little faster. Although just a little. I mean, the rocket would make us go a lot faster, I'm sure. But, but there's also something to be said about having the control that slightly slower speed gives you. Um, I lost my rocket ball somewhere. So, nope, not that one. <laughs> Looks so silly when when it's sprinting. And honestly, it doesn't doesn't do that much. I don't see it up here. No, this one doesn't have a ball on it. This one doesn't have the spiky ball. I don't know what happened to my spiky ball. Okay. So I think I'm going to try to put the levitating thing on there. Hover stone. Let's see what that does, because we've got another fan. We can put that on there, right? If I, if I don't like the way the... I mean, I don't see what that does at all. Uh-uh. So, all right, we'll put, the, we'll put the fan back on. I'm guessing the spiky ball had enough durability that it was uh, lost. So. I really need to. So now your only weapon is your fire. Not the only weapon. I mean, I can still hit them with my hands. Alright, well, that one's all done. So I just gotta go back and forth. Hit him with the fire, hit him with the hand. Oh, okay. I can, I Let get him come can... to you. Don't go into the gloom. Don't go into the gloom. Oh, well, he died. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Well, I can walk through gloom. Okay. Zonite bat. Let's see what else, what I can get rid of. It has high durability. Let's get rid of that. And get the Zonite Bat. Oh, well, it already burned up. Oh, no, I did have it. Okay. Nope. See? The buttons are all different when you're writing this thing. Yeah, 
And I guess let's go get these pose up here. That we went. And you know what? We, we did not go back to the, the, that big thing, the big building, and get the grand pose at the top. We'll have to, we'll have to do that. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of red fiery things up there. Yeah, there. I see a lot of mobs. But we've, we're doing okay. There's another big one to your left. There's all these little ones. There's that. Yeah. yeah. The mob one. Oh. Somebody got me. Yeah. I don't know where it's at. There, You're oh. low on battery. Yeah. Not much I can do about that. Those, that Lizalpo is the biggest threat, honestly. He's got the mobility to make things a problem. I hit them all. Nice. Got one. Getting there. Yeah, the right arm, you know, is a pretty good, pretty good attack damage. On its own, huh? uh, man, I'm taking oh, a good amount of gloom hearts. Yeah. Do you want to go back again and heal those up? Yes. I, I think, think it's I a do. Good idea, even though it's. It's longer. I think it's smarter. Giant boomerang. All right, let's see what we can get rid of now. The zonite bat is pretty good. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's wield this guy, and then uh, I gotta get out of the gloom. Let's uh. Dismount. Nope. Oh, controls. And these are all brand new. I'm gonna fuse the giant gloomering to my gloom spear. That ought to help out a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Well, there we go. I think. Yeah. So we're going to run back and heal up the Gloom Hearts at the Light Root yet again. And we'll do that in between episodes. We'll come back here to this uh, uh, depot and continue in the next episode from this here depot, I do believe. Yeah, see what this depot has to offer. Yep. But I guess for right now, oh, those are keys up there. All right. For right now, we'll uh, cut it short. And remember, be excellent to each other. We're out. <laughs>